tutorial on recording in Cinelara. And the first thing we want to do is uh, just show you the uh, screen capture window here. I'm uh, about ready to put uh, screen capture on the timeline. Move this down a bit. And I'm going to hit uh, Shift P for preferences. And we can move the preferences window here. Um, you can see that uh, you need to go to the pre-recording tab under preferences. And uh, my file format is QuickCon for Linux. Uh, the audio is 2's complement. The video is uncompressed RGB, and the reason why I do this is because if you use a compression scheme of, say, MPEG-4, uh, your CPU will be working that much harder to capture the video. Audio in, um, I'm using ALSA drivers, and I've gone ahead and I've re uh, selected the choice record in real-time priority. So that's real important. As of, as of, I've also lowered the sample rate to 22 uh, kilohertz. Uh, in the video in section, I set my recording driver to uh, screen capture, and I really don't play with the frames to record to disk at a time or the frames to buffer in device, and I do not select the uh, use software for positioning information or the sync drives automatically. You can see a little further down that the size of the captured screen is uh, size of the captured frame rather is 720 by 720. This was uh, made large enough so that the uh, preferences window is uh, you can see the entire preferences window and also the uh, frame rate is set to 29.97. So after we uh, do that um, we need to uh, click OK to uh, confirm these choices and then what you do in Cinelair is actually hit a shift R for re uh, or actually not shift R but R for recording and you can see in this particular uh, screen that uh, I've gone ahead and, and given a, a specific path to my file that I'm recording to it's very important um, you can see that all my format choices here have been saved for QuickTime for Linux 16-bit linear the sample rate of 22 kilohertz I uh, have a couple of clip samples um, during this recording session. My video compression is uncompressed RGB, again for uh, saving my CPU. And if I drag actually my uh, system monitor over, you should be able to see my processor is uh, roughly about 35% uh, in use. And, um, and the recording is proceeding. Now, actually, the way you uh, record is uh, during the transport window, uh, start interactive recording, uh, the red button, red for record, and then, of course, uh, the white square to stop operation. So, um, one thing you want to do is, uh, once you stop um, a record session, you'll then need to paste it uh, into your timeline, and that is controlled by the insertion strategy, uh, which you can see if I click down here, can either insert nothing, replace current project, replace current projects and concatenating tracks, and all the choices that you have under the insertion strategy. So that's a real neat thing. Uh, once you select a uh, insertion strategy, you can then um, hit enter or click the uh, green checkbox uh, check mark to place, paste your uh, video into the timeline. So that's it.